after 118 videos, we're finally ready to get to um, multiple threads or uh, concurrency. And that's uh, because uh, this, um, this sort of RC ref cell uh, pattern is, uh, is used with uh, multiple threads as well, except uh, it's called an ARC. It's like a, an RC, but it's, uh, it's safe between threads. And uh, we'll get to that later, but first we're going to learn how to um, how to use threads. So threads are, you probably know that they are, um, you know, every computer now has uh, multiple cores. It can do things at the same time. And up to now, we've just been using single threads. Um, so there's, you know, one process going at the same time and it starts and it reaches the end of the program and then it's done. Whereas with uh, concurrency, and by the way, that's uh, con, which means with, and uh, curer, curere, which is uh, Latin for run. So, you know, with running, running together. Um, so that's what, uh, that's where the word comes from. And uh, so it's about, you know, all running at the same time. And so let's, um, so let's start by, um, let's look at the very the simplest uh, way to, uh, to make a thread. So the uh, see, standard thread spawn, and uh, there it is. So that is the uh, standard thread spawn. Spawn means to like start something new. So uh, we're going to do that. Standard thread spawn. And if you look at that, you can see it's got this, uh, it's got F, F in once, and you can see that means, uh, you know what that means, it's a closure. So, uh, all right, so it's a closure with anything. And there's no, uh, you can see there's no more details there. Uh, makes this thing called a join handle. We're going to learn what that is later. Uh, but uh, let's just make a thread. And uh, closure, you know, that is all we need to make a closure. And uh, let's do something with our closure. Actually, let's do nothing. Let's say standard thread spawn. And uh, make a thread. And we did it. Let's do it again. So we did, uh, we made some threads. All right, let's, um, hello there. I am in a thread. So let's try to print some things out. Um, try to print that. And uh, let's try to print that as well. Hello there, I am in thread two. So we're going to imagine, you know, thread one and thread two. And, you know, are we going to, are we going to see both of these? And uh, interestingly enough, it says, hello there, I'm in a thread, and uh, it didn't do this. And this is one of the, one of the things about threads is that um, you're not guaranteed, like right here, so none of them actually uh, started because you have the, um, you know, it's concurrent, they're running at the same time. So you have the main program and it's doing its thing, it starts a thread, the thread's getting ready to go, and meanwhile the, the main thre the main program is going down to here, starts another thread, this one's getting ready to go, and then the main program gets to here and says, okay, I'm done, finishes the program, and these threads haven't even uh, done what they're supposed to do. So that is, uh, and you know, sometimes they're fast enough, so here, uh, here this thread has been, uh, you know, Faster than faster than this one, and it's been able to print, and so um, that uh, that's interesting to know. So we can do like the super super hacky thing to try to make it uh, make it stop for for a while. We can say for nothing in zero to uh, ten thousand, and we'll say let x equals nine, and then we'll just make the uh, make the main thread kind of uh, busy doing this thing uh, ten thousand times. And while it's doing that, these uh, these threads should uh, should have enough time. And you can see now they are they're displaying properly because uh, we just use this hacky method um, to uh, to uh, just make the main thread busy. And uh, so that is um, you can imagine that's not the uh, not the the best way to do it, but uh, that that shows uh, how it works. Um, and uh, let's just uh, copy and paste in this other. Uh, this other one as well. Actually, let's say yeah, there we go. And you can actually see, um, you know, if you want to do from zero to ten, you can kind of see an average of uh, 
of how many succeed at uh, at spawning and doing something before you finish and and it's usually pretty low so anyway that is uh, basically how how to start a thread and then now we're going to uh, in the next video look at how to you know properly um, uh, get them to you know do their thing and then kind of uh, make them wait somehow uh, over here um, because you don't want to just end your main program before uh, before they're done because everything will come crashing down. You're probably trying to do something important inside here. So we'll do that in the next video.